shit, shit, and more. Megan once again made us even more nauseous with her confusing statement about fake babies and Invictus. Hello and a warm welcome to Royal Family News Channel. I have to say we were offside, guys. In fact, Megan was not banned from Germany, as reported by several sources, and once she got to the game, she didn't waste a second showing us how desperate she was to be in the spotlight. It sure didn't take you long to find that microphone, did it? In her final appearance, Megan apologizes for missing the start of the Invictus Games, while giving an impromptu speech about buying milkshakes and running to school before leaving for Germany. Now, Harry was present at the event, but he decided to take a back seat and allowed Meghan Markle to be the center of attention, as always. But what is he talking about, I mean, milkshake, school before going to Germany? Is this Meghan's latest attempt to change her image, to look like a caring mother? This must just be her new PR angle, acting like she's really that loving mother who takes care of the school runs, whatever. It doesn't even make sense for her children to go to school full-time. I mean, for is too young, I guess Archificial would go to school for half a day in the morning at most. And then Lilybed, well, at most she would only go to daycare. She tries to present herself as a caring mother, but it will never work. Everyone remembers how horrible he was to his father. And last time I checked, they have at least one full-time nanny, again, if they have kids, IT doesn't seem very professional to make excuses for being late. Most of us have no problem getting the kids to school, and we still have to arrive on time for important events. And if Meghan Markle was busy doing the school run, well, who will be doing the school run tomorrow? If it was so important for her to be there, shouldn't she have stayed there? And if she can leave, why didn't she leave at the same time as Harry? This is just another example of Meghan Markle stealing other people's ideas. She stole this from Catherine because Catherine couldn't go to Balmoral because she was organizing the school run for the kids' first day at a new school. Now, this excuse was a good one, and it was entirely credible. Megan's, however, not so much. Well, it looks like Megan was completely outclassed on this occasion, and she still hasn't been able to get over IT.so he decided to just copy the idea, because we all forgot about it, we didn't do it. Another problem with this little story is that California school children start their school year in mid-August. So if Archie is real, and he's really in school, he's already been in school for a month. This allowed Megan to make a grand entrance on her own, which is what it's all about. Anyone who thinks this is just an impromptu speech from Meghan Markle needs to get their head checked, Megan also said she would love to take her children to the Invictus Games one day. Oh, well, how interesting. He's not taking his kids anywhere, but he wants to take them to the Invictus Games. Really? I mean, even rental guys are very rarely seen in public and Megan wouldn't take them anywhere where they could compete with her for attention, neither have ever been seen with their children. A two-year-old spends most of the day with her parents, especially when they don't even have a real job. Now, maybe Megan was the one running the school, but there were no kids in the car. Let us remember, however, that this is Megan's truth and that we have no right to question it. And what a slap in the face for the games and the hosts. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was late. I am a mother of two children. I have no help and I have two children to take care of. Oh, I know, you were all waiting for me. Megan was speaking to limb amputees who suffer from PTSD and still managed to go to work every day. No one cares about the story that Megan is organizing a school run for a few preschoolers. Most people are parents. They must manage the school themselves, and they have to do even more after being injured. And they don't have nannies or assistants to help them. Many of them live paycheck to paycheck, like most of us around the world. Megan is so deaf. It is surprising. As veterans with significant physical limitations gather for athletic competitions, Megan was eager to introduce herself and talk about the struggles in her life. I mean, and having to do what most parents have to do every day. But it's also his show, let's not forget that. He has to convince everyone that he's just like us, but he gets to wear clothes and jewelry that cost more than many of these veterans will earn in their lifetime. 
You really don't understand what athletes have to go through to get to the games. Haven't you seen Claire Gibson start a competition to encourage a competitor? Haven't you seen the applause of all the competitors from all the countries? Ed was late and tried to give reasons that he thought would make her approachable. No respect at all. You know, if I were a candidate there, I would feel so offended, I don't care if Megan did her own makeup. I mean, it was a really bad idea. She's so desperate to be in the spotlight that she'll do anything. And he always did the same thing. She even tried to steal the limelight from the late queen, as if that could never happen. He actually thought he was somehow better than the late queen. Now the shock at the obvious love, support and respect shown by the rest of the world at her funeral was truly reflected on Meghan's face as she finally understood that the late queen wasn't just an old lady. It was incredibly important and valuable. Okay, let's take a quick break from this report to discuss our latest video. I must apologize to all of you, posted this video when we thought Meghan was actually banned from Germany. Apparently, this was not the case. So she presented herself without any restrictions. You've also shared a lot of your opinions in the comments section, so let's talk about some of my favorite comments. Think about how much money it would have cost to rent and transport them to Germany, and how complicated it would have been. Also really like this comment from Janie. This is not the face of a 42-year-old man. Hey, Megs, you need to do some touch-ups. That's probably why he's not in Dusseldorf. Well, he's in Dusseldorf now, but I agree with you. He's really starting to show his age. Then we received a comment from Lynn Farr. My feeling is that me gain and good old Uncle Randy Andy know each other a lot better than you think. Now this conspiracy theory is my opinion after watching countless different videos on YouTube against and for Megane. Has been as a malicious little monster that Megane somehow released into the world, boy, did we get snowed in by him? But one of has been's contributing factors is his serious mental health issues. Megane only encourages his paranoia. I think there is someone very intelligent behind Megane who wants to go towards destruction. Megane just wants money and fame out of the deal, and maybe Prince William, lol. There are so many sketches and cloak and daggers surrounding these two. My guess is that one or both of them will end up serving time in a US federal prison. But at least they'll have work inside. Cleaning floors earns about 25 cents an hour for prison work. Now, this idea that there is someone behind Meghan Markle, someone with very deep pockets and a lot of power, is a very interesting theory. He is also one of those I have met several times. Now if any of you have any thoughts on this, let us know in the comments. Who could it possibly be? I know many people want to see the monarchy fail. Next, I want to share this comment from Mama Pinks. Yes, not only is she there, but she somehow managed to get on stage with Harry and give a speech about him while wearing a Banana Republic mall outfit and a belt. Occasion. I wonder who told the reporter exactly what he was wearing. This must be his respite from the backlash from the ridiculous amount of money he embarrassingly spent last year on games. Red carpet, more like vomit. The green carpet is what they deserve. Well, obviously, this idea of Megan's, which is clothes that people could actually afford, is another idea that she stole directly from Catherine. I mean, who does he think he's kidding? This woman doesn't have a single original thought in her stupid head. And then another comment from Mama Pinks that I just want to thank you for is, oh, and the news with them comes so fast with their shenanigans that you're forced to download them as soon as something happens that contradicts what you say. Don't worry, I completely understand that we still love your channel. Thank you for your understanding. I mean, that was a really embarrassing mistake and one that I wish we hadn't made. But hey, I guess it's better late than never, right? All right. The last comment I want to share with you is a very interesting comment from Kate London. I think she was supposed to go to Germany and then she decided not to go because of all the bad press, but then she decided to go because Harry has all this good press without her. Oh my god, these two are going to have one hell of a divorce. The improvement process has already started. 
Get ready for the second part of the Whale Wars. Thanks for sharing this theory, Kate, because I've never come across it before and I think you may be 100% right. Meghan Markle was probably just waiting to see what kind of press Harry would get. And then when she saw that he was handsome, well, she couldn't leave him in the spotlight without her, so she left. Okay, back to the main content. Later, Meghan said she's proud of the Invictus family, how condescending can he be? Why, among other things, would she be proud? I mean, she might say she's impressed, she might say she's amazed, but pride says it's all hers. Meghan has nothing to do with Invictus, and it's not her place to feel proud of the athlete's accomplishments, because none of this has anything to do with her. I mean, Meghan Markle has no relevant experience, she was never in the Army, Navy or Air Force. He has no experience in sports. Has no experience in treating women and wounded servicemen. So why the hell was he talking at the Invictus Games? I mean, okay, let's be hypothetical here, let's say, if Harry wasn't involved in these games, maybe there would be a series of alternative games for these people that Harry wasn't involved in. Would Meghan Markle be there? Absolutely not. He thinks he's the most important person here, but in my opinion, he's the least important person. Most people don't care when Meghan shows up, or if she does, Harry was doing just fine without her. Today, the Invictus Games are a positive event for the amazing veterans who participate. But what I don't understand is the praise, especially from Team GB, of the two people who made the last years of the Commander-in-Chief's life a complete misery. It also seems incredibly cynical to take advantage of an event like this to try to reform its image. Everything Meghan says, along with the paparazzi photos, is designed to make her seem nicer. How much money did they make from the Invictus series on Netflix? R12 produced it. And you know what? All these profits should have gone directly to veterans. Meghan and Harry, for some reason, still don't seem to understand that the games aren't about them, and as the media companies that hired them learned, they are not wanted. And most of the comments are not positive. This is not just a Hollywood party. This is an event to celebrate veterans who have sacrificed their bodies for the world. And if Harry had truly been a real man with any dignity, he would have walked away, this would have allowed a popular wounded warrior to take over and build a true brand focused on what's truly important. Wounded military personnel and their well-being. Their only real value, whatever the cause, would be to justify a significant tax deduction. Let's talk about Simon Weston, for example. I mean, what an incredible man, he suffered terribly when he was 20 years old. And after numerous operations, he learned to live with his burned body. And he made the best of a truly horrible situation. He should be the leader of the Invictus. And you, do you agree with me? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments. If you find my video useful, please like and share it with your friends and family who will enjoy it whenever you want. And subscribe to Royal Family News Channel for more updates in the future. Thank you very much for listening. Have a nice day and we will come back to see you in the next videos.